Hi guys, I'm here. I don't have a plan. I know I put a post up recently that, um, you know, if you don't plan, you're planning to fail. But um, yeah, this is just like a sporadic recording because um, I haven't done one in a while and I just thought I might, um, you know, give you a catch up of my life, where I'm at um, and how it's been. So here we go. This is like me after work. I probably look fantastic. Um, and yeah, I've been honestly tired is the first word that comes into my head. I feel drained like... <laughs> I know that's not really like my usual like, positive self but I literally I was on the bus today and um, coming from work and I literally just let go and I felt like the atoms in my body just wanted to sink to the ground because I'm just so tired um, yeah which isn't super positive but I guess it's the truth um, I've just been working really late um, at work um, and just the constant the constant um, having to do, need like you know, having that list of things that you have to do in my mind is um, it's quite mentally draining and not very productive. Anyway, so yeah, that's how I've been feeling, man. That's just how I've been feeling. But, <laughs> which isn't, doesn't make for a very long video. Uh, how about my relationship with God? Let, let's try and talk, let's talk about that. Yeah, that's a bit that's a bit more interesting. Um, so some of you may know, but I I was recently anointed a pastor, which I'm super honoured and privileged. Um, to be and to become uh I definitely saw that happen like saw that coming as part of my future as part of God's plan for my life I just didn't anticipate for it to happen so soon um like even yesterday sometimes I just think God I can barely look after myself let alone you know other people uh, but then I just have to rem you just have to in those times of self-doubt you just have to remind yourself that you didn't call you. God knows you better than you know yourself. And he's the one who appointed you to be pastor. So obviously he knows what he's doing. Um, so, yeah. And um, the run up to that, uh, God told me something that was vital and something that's been on my heart for a long time. And I do plan to make a video about it. He, he, he said something so profound Um uh, the day before I was anointed pastor I remember walking um, I was fasting and praying that week and um, you know in preparation and I remember I was just walking by you know some random shop like petrol station by where I worked um, and God just told me essentially being pastor all you need to be is to, to love that's it because he said Emma if you love people if you love me and if you love people, then um, you will pray for them. You'll you'll you'd intercede for them. You'll follow them up. You'd um, want to see them grow. Um, you'll give yourself to them and you'll you know give them the word. And he said that's just it. He just says just love my people. And I got that from um, reading Hosea when I no no reading Ruth um, when Ruth married Boaz she was beautiful and um, Naomi described her towards the end of the book of Ruth that you know her love for Boaz was better or more than he could ever get from seven sons um, so it's just all about love at the end of the day even after he told me that I was like but God like what if I fail you know like what if I fail yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a very honest question, you know, and I feel like you need to know this. Like, what if I fail, God? And then all he said to me was, um, all he said to me was, um, just listen to my voice. I'm guiding you, aren't I? And I'm like, yes, you are. So, um, and then that just gave me such assurance in my heart that as long as I listen to God, I listen to instruction, his instructions, do you know what I mean? Then I'll succeed and I'll fulfil his will for my life. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what's been happening. Um, it's been glorious. I got to minister um, first Sunday, two weeks ago, which is awesome. And I'm just taking it one soul at a time, man. I'm not like, you know, obviously dream big, dream big. Like I see myself um, preaching in stadiums and having churches that are in stadiums. Um, that's definitely God's plan and vision for my life. Praise God, but um, 
I think just for now, I just take it one sole at a time. Also, um, just put it out there, this is kind of a sporadic video as I've said before, but I have this book that I would love to recommend anybody. Um, I don't know whether you guys are book lovers out there, but every time I am, um, I always like to, um, you know, just get God's guidance with everything, pretty much. And um, uh, yeah, the Lord pushed me to read this book and it's... It's called um, Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers um, and it's honestly an amazing book. It's about it's about a man in um, 19th century America, so it was like the gold mining times when they used to like shift for gold and they were exploring the land so people were going to California um, to, you know, to reach the American dream essentially. Um, and so there's this man and he you know, asked God for a wife and God told him to marry a prostitute, which is very interesting. And it's based on the story of Hosea. Um, and that's the book I've been meditating on as a result of this book. But um, yeah, and it just talks about, you know, love that's truly unconditional to the point where you're just like, oh my days, does this man exist? Um, and uh, it's just like, no matter what she does, the fact that she leaves him countless times, she goes and has sex with other men, it's just all like in this. Um, she, you know, he still takes her back in with loving arms. I remember just thinking, God, please give me a man like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, you love me and you care for me, so please give me an amazing man like this person. And then God made me realise that I already have Jesus and Jesus is, you know, this man and more. You know, no matter what I did, before I even knew him, he loved me so full on. Like, he would, he died for me. And I didn't even I didn't even know this guy. I didn't even know Jesus. I wasn't even born. Do you know what I mean? And no matter what I do nowadays, um, he still loves me. And he'll, he's, his arms are always wide open for me. Um, and, yeah. So, honestly, if you guys like a soppy romance, even though it's not soppy, because it's quite gruelling... But um, if you like a romance and um, want to find out more about God's love for you, even if you're, you know, guy, girl, whatever, this is the book. Um, yeah, awesome. So uh, that's kind of like a quick update because I feel like I've been away for too long, which is always the case. Um, but, you know, I'm going to Thailand in a couple of weeks' time. Which I'm so excited about because I definitely need a holiday. I've been working full on since April. I haven't been on holiday since I went to South Africa. Anyway, so, but I'm really looking forward to going to Thailand and Vietnam. So, yeah, no. Yeah, sorry for this uh, very unstructured video, but um, I hope you gained something, gleaned something from it. Um, yeah, Fiona said about doing a whisper challenge. Um, I've heard it's popular on YouTube and she really wants to do it. So I think we're going to do a... Bible version of that, which is going to be interesting. Um, but yeah, God bless you guys, and thank you so much for watching my videos, for following me on Instagram, and you know, just being all round super supportive. I really appreciate it, and it gives me the oomph to make more videos. But um, yeah, thanks so much. I love you guys, and have a wonderful evening. Bye. God bless you. Mwah. Uh, uh, so we're here to do another YouTube video. Yay! BT Dance, this is Fiona, my little sister. Don't <laughs> like this.